With a contentious vote on St. Paul's trash issue two weeks away, St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter is dealing with racist threats. Police reports document a threatening phone message and hate letters sent to the office of the city's first black mayor three separate days this month. St. Paul police say Monday, a voicemail message warned that if the trash tax levy goes through, Carter would need bulletproof glass on his home. And two letters Carter received earlier in October included a newspaper article and messages like, this is what we get for voting for a racial slur. A report from June says Carter received a very similar letter. Police sent it off to be fingerprinted, but they didn't find any suspects. St. Paul changed its trash system last year, so instead of hiring their own trash hauler and negotiating their own rates, residents have to pay a flat rate and use the company the city chooses. The city says it cuts down on truck traffic, but many say their price went up and they're upset they can no longer choose. A no vote on the November 5th referendum would eliminate the new city ordinance. But Mayor Carter says it won't eliminate the new contract the city signed with the trash companies. And that cost would then have to be paid through resident property taxes. A mayor spokesperson says, we take all threats seriously and are diligent in our steps to ensure the safety of the mayor and our staff. And referendum supporters condemned the threats. This decision should be based on facts and not fear. And it doesn't help to stoke fear. And it, and it, you know, it doesn't help any situation. And it's really unfortunate that we've gotten to the point where an incident like this happens. And the mayor's spokesperson said that although these threats involve the trash issue, it's not uncommon for the mayor's office to receive calls or letters that are then reported to law enforcement. Julie? Just disappointing, though. Thank yeah, you, Lou.